Hello guys, how you doing? Welcome back to hmm, Sim Metro uh, with me, Sim UK. Uh, today we're going to try and recreate the route that I did last night. It's a route that I did last night successfully. Um, not perfectly, but we did reach right to the end. Um, but there's a, f there's a few complications. There's a bit of a learning curve uh, in this game. Big shout out to the Doctor. A uh, friend of the channel who hooked us up with this game. Uh, in all honesty, I hadn't even heard of it. And um, I am super impressed right now. Really, really impressed. So we're going to have a go at this express route. Uh, we've got just one stop, as you can see there, the white. This is the K1904. I have no idea what that says. No idea what that says. Start at 7.47 in the morning. Uh, I think we're going from south to north rather than north to south. So, uh... Let's get on and have a go at this. So the reason why I'm recording this again is because uh, I accidentally have my headphones set to my monitor and OBS did not pick it up. It's going to switch power over to AC. We've got power on. Boost the brake. Dead man switch. Forward direction and away we go. Right. So we're pretty much free to go all the way down this route as fast as we can go. Uh, I had it up to 120 kilometers an hour, 125 kilometers an hour at one point. Um, as I say, I reached all the way to the end last time and had basically no problems whatsoever. Somehow went through the dead man switch bit without any issues at all. But I just had another go at this 10 minutes ago and I failed. And if you fail, what will happen is you'll get a little, uh, you see there, fault, the red button, the, th the trio in the middle. Uh, if the fault comes on, you've fried the engine and you're not going anywhere. It's game over. And um, yeah, I did that in my last attempt. So we'll try to not recreate that. But uh, I do need to kind of pay attention as best I can. Ideally, I want to zoom right the way in, but then you won't be able to see any of the switches or dials or anything. So, uh, right, try and time to concentrate. I'll be a, a little alert. I need to put the throttle to neutral, the brake to neutral, and then switch the ELBCOS or the ELBCOS to open and switch power accordingly. In fact, I'm not sure if I do need to switch power. I think it's just a dead, a dead zone. It doesn't necessarily require me to switch power source, but I, ca I genuinely can't remember what I did in the version without audio. It just everything just went really well right until the end. We got stuck at the end somehow. But we'll get there. We'll figure it out. This game is superb. One of the things that impresses me most about this game, other than the great audio. Uh, and the the level of precision you have to drive with in order to succeed is the lighting. It's absolutely gorgeous. From the headlights, from uh, other... Tr oh, here we go. Here's the bar thing. Drop to zero. There you go. There's the marker. This is a dead zone, so I'm looking for... There it is, I think that was it there. So now I can switch my power over. See, I don't think I need to switch the power over. Okay, let's put the power on and see if I'm right or wrong. We appear to have power. So I think we're okay. Really tricky, that so easy to miss the sign. Kind of looks like a black and white equivalent of the UK's version of a no entry sign. It's, it's easy to miss. So, so easy to miss. And it wasn't that that I reacted to, truth be known. Right, so we do have one stop along this route. And a couple of slowdown sections. I'm trying to look at my ground ATS signal indicators so that I can get the right speed. One yellow light is 45 kilometers. 
And the underground has a lot more, but uh, I can't remember them all. Not not straight away. It's only my like fourth go at this game, and uh, there's a massive learning curve because I don't speak Korean, and 99% of everything is in Korean. There's a yellow and a green to my right there. That doesn't even show up on my list of ATS signals. Not that that one applies to us, but whatever. G is free, the blue. Again, there's a yellow sign there. That would mean 45 kilometers, but that's not how it's for us. Got to react to that within three seconds or it shuts the engine down. I think I'm in EB anyway, by accident. Yeah. Ball legs. I thought I reacted to that in time. Do you know why? Do you know why it shut us down there? Because I took my thumb off the dead man's brake off the space bar. Because we were braking and slowing. Actually, I don't think you need it on when you're braking and slowing down. Could be wrong. Right, so 45 kilometers an hour, and it literally is. 45 kilometers an hour. 45 and a half kilometers an hour, too fast. Equally, I never, ever, 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 ever stop on the mark. I just, I haven't yet managed it. Balls, did it again. Did it again. do love how they play a bit of classical music before the uh, the warning comes up. I think that's excellent. Too soon? Too soon. <laughs> it's so tough to get this on the money. There we go. That's what we were after. It looks incredible, doesn't it? Every single one of the stations, I think, looks amazing. So carefully recreated. Just no passengers, that's the only significant problem. So we could be here for some time. This is an express train, so we're expecting a lot of people on. The Seoul Rapid, it's called. As you can see on the front of the train there. 1904 Seoul Rapid. To get rid of that. Give a screenshot, why not? It's a great run this. I'm already not doing as well as I did in my first attempt, but Okay, the the doors on the other train tricked me into thinking we were going. We will be going. There you go. can't remember if there's a 45 kilometer an hour limit here. I'm going to guess there isn't. I can't remember. Look at the lighting on the side of the train off the grass. It's shining up in green. It's, it's just stunning game just looks so good and the audio is not perfect but my word it's it's pretty pretty impressive right I need to get back on my paying attention I'm a little confused about the signalling. Sometimes it seems to be 
the signal is on the left, sometimes the signal's on the right, sometimes the signal seems to be all the way over on the right. Uh, like that green there seems to apply to us, but sometimes it doesn't. It's, it's difficult to, uh, to master this game because of the limited tutorial and the excessive amount of Korean. Not that I want them to reduce the amount of Korean, just, you know, provide a PDF manual or something that I can read in English and understand. And then let me go for it. But, you know, that being said, this is my fourth or fifth run in the game, and I'm not doing terrible. I'm not doing terrible, even though it's really hard and really tricky. There's a blue there, that's open. The flat out through this station. You see, we're not platform side. Green there. Greens don't mean anything. As far as speed goes, it is. Another green there. Just means clear track. Look at that, it's coming over the bridge. Absolutely stunning. Now, I would expect a bit of whoosh noise there as the train goes past us, but e even without that, it's still really quite impressive, the audio. Right, so we've got a blue and a yellow here. That's a 65 kilometre an hour limit. Now, I'm not sure if that does apply to us, but I'm going to start slowing down anyway. There's a yellow there that says 45. We're definitely going to have to come down to 45. Bang on 45. Oh, we did that so well. Little cheesy grin on my face for that one. That was absolutely spot on. And the reason why we're dropping down to 45 is because we are going to change track at some point. Now we're just creeping up above 45 there. But there's no alarms going off, even though I'm doing 46. 47, so now I'm thinking maybe that wasn't meant for us. Maybe it wasn't meant for us. It's speed up. Maybe the 65 is meant for us. But I can see a green and yellow ahead. I don't know what green and yellow means. I've only got a blue and yellow on my list of things. This will be 45, you watch. No? I'll just open her up then. Even when you... I mean, I've only played like four or five times. Even when you think you know what you're doing, there's still that area of uh, confusion. You're not quite sure that you know what you're doing. You, you think you figured it out. And you're doing your best to follow the rules. In actual fact, you're miles off. Right, that's a 45 kilometre mar marker there. So that definitely applies to us. And you can see that the alarm's going off. That train's already got down to 45. He's much better than we are. OK, so I had to react to that within three seconds, and I did. Which is why we still have power. He's stopping at that light. We can continue going. Now, I've got a single green here. You see there's a blue over on the right-hand side. That means free speed. Just go as fast as you like. We've got a single green. Green is not on the list of things. But now it's down to 25. Yeah, we didn't get it in time. All right, so down to electric brake. Release, and we can go again. 
It's a very cool little jingle. I've no idea what it means. I'm not sure if we're still limited to 25. Yes, we are. I should keep notching. I'm so frustrated my last recording had no audio on it. None at all, by the way. Because I just hit all of these speed markers absolutely like first time. It was insane, really. It was more out of panic, panicked reactions rather than excellent skill. Just going to test if we can go over 25. No, okay, okay. Don't panic. I love the music. I love the music. This is why we're down to 25, because we're changing tracks. But possibly I was slowing down too much too early, I'm not sure. There you go. So now we can go over 25. But I didn't see any signs to indicate that that was the case. Okay, but we do have a buffer at the end here. So maybe we are supposed to keep 25. See, look, the brake has just gone on. The emergency brake has gone on, so I think I was meant to keep below 25. But the alarm didn't go off, which is weird. Okay, so we'll stay below below 25 kilometers an hour, and uh, I'll do my best. I'll do my best to stop where we're supposed to stop. It's so hard to stop these trains on the money. I really struggle with it. So I've got an R1 alert now. I ran into this problem earlier. So it's basically put the emergency brake on. So if I go down to ER, ED rather, and then release, nothing happens. I think what I need to do is go go to neutral, then EB, hit some buttons, I think that was the, uh, the ATS button, which gives me a 15 mile an hour limit, release the brake, and then we have power. Oh, hang on, now we have power. There it is. <laughs> okay, so that end bit is really not clear in my head. <laughs> I really don't understand why it's slamming the brakes on. And R1, in my head, is reverse 1. Um, but I don't know. I, I really don't understand. Maybe I could stop before this point. Maybe I'm not supposed to come this far up. I don't really know. It's it's just not clear. You can hear the alarm still going off. Um, put the EB brake on.
there's nothing I can do to get rid of that 15 mile an hour thing. I thought I'd figured out how to do it earlier, but no. Anyway, the doors are shut, mission is completed. Sadly, uh, it doesn't tell me anything about my route. There is a button you can press, um, like whilst you're in a route, there is a button you can press to bring up this chart. Um, it would be really great if I showed you that at the end of a route so you can sort of assess it. Not that it's particularly clear what I'm looking at. I mean, some of it makes sense, I think, but there's a lot of guesswork in this game. As much as I love it, some clarity would be nice. <laughs> but still, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.